In City News, we told you about the challenges investigators are facing as they try and determine how two people died on Lake Joseph last weekend. Multimillionaire Kevin O'Leary was a passenger on one of the boats when they crashed at night. Today, we spoke with South Simcoe Police and the York Region Police Marine Unit about what you need to know when you take your boat out after sunset. When people are heading out on their boat at night, what's some good practice uh, that they should be aware of and things that they need to know? Uh, operate the vessel slowly. That's that's a good uh, recommendation. Have good knowledge of the of the, the water that you're on, whether it be a lake or, or a larger body of water. Um, have charts on board or use your phone for GPS to know where you're going. If there's shoals, if there the depth of the water, or there's uh, some hazards that you're not aware of, um, and have all the safety equipment on board as well. Driving a boat on the lake at night has its dangers, and there is risk. It's dark and you can't see, so you need, uh, like, people, their minimum requirement is what they usually carry, a tiny little flashlight that's waterproof, but, I mean, if you want to put your life on a, on a tiny light, so you can go overboard, get better lights, better light, and they get, like my uh, partner said here, drive, drive to the conditions. You can't see in the dark. you got to let your eyes adjust. It's 45 minutes to get your night vision back after you see white light, so drive slow, know the lake, have charts on board. We're on Lake Simcoe right now. There's a boat going right behind us here on the lake. If it was nighttime, what would we see, if anything? From this side, you'd see uh, a white light on the back and a green light on the front, and they're just small little marker lights. And it's pretty much otherwise pitch black here. Black. That's all you can see is their nav lights. They're just for navigation. They're not for, for seeing and for uh, making way. They're just so others can see you. If you can avoid going out on the boat at night, maybe it's a good idea just to keep it parked? If you're not uh, very familiar with the, the lake, it's a, it's a good idea to wait till you, there's some light. Um, you can't, don't be dependent on, on the moon or, or the stars to navigate you around a waterway. Please add that there could be multiple other objects you might not see on the water when you're boating at night, like that sailing marker that simply doesn't appear in the charts. At Lake Simcoe, I'm Adrian Gobriel for City News.